the challenges within the fashion industry is like crazy. Because you have to imagine that you have this project where someone wants to build their brand. But most of that brand is in their head and you need to translate it into a concept. So you can imagine how much challenges there can be on the road. In this documentary, we follow the company Cut It through a part of their journey of becoming the world's leading fashion tech company. Their goal is to make the fashion industry smarter and sustainable by creating technological solutions that can help fashion brands and manufacturers in the production process. These innovations are important because the fashion industry is the third most polluting industry in the world and accounts for 10% of the global carbon emissions. By limiting the possibility of using unsustainable materials and creating waste using digital innovations, Cut It strives for a brighter future for the fashion industry. My name is Anthony Siams. I am the CEO of Codit and one of the founders. We started this like five years ago. I am Fabio Baromeo. I'm the CTO of Codit. I am together with Anthony, one of the founders of Codit. While I was working as a designer and a developer, I met Anthony. Together we were thinking about how to make impact on the world. And that's actually how we started the company called Codit. We, we had an idea to make fashion simpler for the simple soul. That's where actually where we started Codit. We started building a company where we could give the surface from A to Z. But actually, in the end, our goal was to improve the processes and having a more transparent way of coming to a certain brand, you know. We needed to go find out ourselves what the process looks like. And we decided to work with a lot of starters. For example, uh, Vanturai. Vanturai that uh, has this great vision to, to make her brand uh, with her name, with fashion that is very relevant in this time, very trending. I am Maimuna and I am from Heerenveen. Um, I'm 26 years old and my brand is Vanturai Fashion. I started this brand uh, in 2020 because, yeah, I wanted something for myself. My, my husband, actually, he has uh, his own company and um, he's doing well and still doing well. And um, he motivated me, actually. I was just sitting at home and I finished, I finished school. I had, my, I had everything what I needed to have just to stay at home and relax. But something in me just said, okay, are you going to be sitting here and doing nothing and just being a stay home mom? No offense for the stay home moms, but um, for me, it didn't felt good. So one day I told uh, William, I said, okay, I'm going to do something for myself. I wanted to be independent. I didn't want to ask William for everything uh, that I wanted. I wanted to be my own boss also. So um, that motivation in me, the fire was burning inside me like, okay, get your ass up and go do something. So then one day I was just Googling and Googling and Googling and I, and then I came across Cut It and then I spoke with Anthony and then I told him this was my idea of starting from Fashion to Die and then he said everything is possible and I was like yes This 
is Ali from Sondos Textile, company from Istanbul, Turkey. We, we are manufacturer for women wear and kids wear, and also some product of men production. When customer come to us, they have uh, some design. Some of them they have uh, some uh, idea. Some of them have a uh, touch back. And when we check what they want, we can uh, also give them or information, and or, uh, we can give them some alternative for use other things. Also, we can say to them about which kind of trends now in the market is going well. We are using this information and we share this information with, with our customer and finally they will select which uh, fabric and which accessories or which color. They will select and they will decide which product want to pro going for production. Obviously there are a lot of phases where a piece of clothing has to go through until it's really the final piece. And um, going through that process, you have a lot of things you should consider, like um, fabrics, like um, uh, printing, like labels, like accessories, like the sewing, cutting and finishing of the product. And then you also have to check like, OK, what what manufacturer specialize in what? Because you have manufacturers that are specialized in dresses. You, are, you have manufacturers that are, are, are specialized in like basic uh, clothing such as hoodies, sweaters, t-shirts, etc. So you really have to find the right partners to make the best product. In our company we have a different department and the, the most and important department is sampling because when the customer have some request and they have some touch pack or picture or design we are starting from sampling and in the sampling we have a different process. We need to focus the details of sample about measurement, about uh, what what kind of fabric, what kind of accessory. Some customers they have a special size chart, and we need to follow that size chart. In this process, when we make a pattern, and also when we select the fabric with customer together, after the next part of this job, we need to make a saving, and we need to make a pro in the Manqueen to see how is the sample, how it's going. And we need to fix, fix the sample. We need to make some time, we, we send for coloring, some time for embroidery, some time for print. And uh, we have a, this kind of job in the sample. It, it's, a, it's a wide process uh, in, the, in the production. Uh, the, the sampling is the more difficult job for us. Yeah. But now right. 61. Yeah, I think that's okay because it has to be yeah. six centimeters bigger than normal. Okay, this is now it's okay, okay. then it should be okay, okay. but you can see it's yeah. also okay. longer, longer. Yes. longer. Yes. okay yes. it's good that should be okay after that we need to make a test for fabric we need to make a, a ironing test like a saving test and this kind of test to be understand this fabric is is true fabric and we need to to check the load number of fabric In here you can see we have a lot of variety of fabric in different grammage like uh, 100 gram, 120 gram, 200 gram, 300 gram, 400 gram and all kind of different fabric is good for some um, some requests for some jobs like a t-shirt, hoodie, like a shirt, like a dress. We can use all of this variety of fabric for this kind of job. In the natural fabric we have uh, like a cotton tensile uh, viscose and we can also we can use a combination of this uh, material together so, some of the viscose and also cotton together is very good choice and also tensile is very good choice we can make a coloring we can make a washing we can do all of this process with this natural fabric and it's better to use natural than polyester after that we have a cutting table and uh, with cutting uh, we have a two two uh, two way the one way is a laser cutting and machine cutting and another way is cutting by hand most of companies they're doing cutting by hand but some of company also doing uh, this process by laser machine but for laser machine we need huge amount we need uh, minimum 1000 or 2000 pieces for each product but normally we use a cutting by hand and machine
after cutting, we have a saving process. And when it's going to the saving uh, atelier, uh, the, the people is checking about details, about size, size by size, pieces by pieces. And also they have a one sample, they will see the sample. They will control the sample and how is well, how was sample and how, how they saving it and what they need, they will check all the details and they are starting to, to make a saving. But also in saving we have uh, some rules. We need to follow the rules about which pieces and which pieces it should be linked to the other pieces and which pieces it should be the last pieces in the process or which pieces it should be starting from first and also in the line to make a saving from a start and to end. Also we, we have uh, some different machine like uh, direct uh, saving, like uh, overlock saving, like uh, double needle saving. And finally in the end of the line you can see the finishing product. Here we're doing crochet. Uh, crochet meaning is uh, elastic. And uh, this job uh, has uh, some different kind of uh, quality. But it's in the trend now. You can see like uh, this one. And also we have uh, other kind of uh, crochet. Like uh, this kind of crochet is a uh, embroidery crochet. We have uh, some different things in the, in the print, like uh, silk print, like a uh, digital print, like uh, uh, puff print, or some new things. Every day we have uh, some new things, and also uh, in print we have uh, we have uh, we we're doing print in uh, different product, like in the polyester, in the viscose, in the cotton, uh, in the tensile. We have a lot of details, and most in, uh, most famous print. Now it's a digital print, print in the polyester. The another one is the print in the cotton, like a vowel or poplin. And also the, the another print is a silk print. We're doing this kind of job for t-shirt and hoodies and some special product. You know, we have two group customer. The first group, they have their own design. They have a digital file and we can use that file for print. But at first we need to be check the print, how is the scale, is the scale is the same thing as the customers they want. And we need to make a print like a 50 centimeter, 50 centimeter and checking the scale. And maybe sometimes the, 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 our customers, they don't have a print file. We can make a design for them and we can make a print for them. And also they can select from some ready uh, website. They can say, I need this, uh, this print. And we can use that sources of print and we can get them, that print from the website and we can work for them. Fabric, when we starting for making test for fabric, we need to make ironing test 
to, uh, to check about the shrink. When, when we doing ironing, how many percent of fabric is going to shrink. And also about washing, and we need to check also washing shrink. Because when we make a coloring or when we make uh, some uh, job in the fabric, uh, we need to ch control it, how, how many percent of fabric is going to shrink. And it's very important also, um, generally, uh, our customer need to be understand about washing temperature and uh, because the, the normal washing temperature it, it should be 30 degree or 35 degree but also some product we put labels washing instruction in the product it need uh, dry cleaning uh, because it's in some uh, sensitive fabric it need dry cleaning and uh, also about washing and after washing we need to how we can put in the dryer and also is it possible to put in the dryer and this kind of information is very important and our customer need to be check uh, every time they need to be check uh, about washing instruction so this is the raw material yes that's the color this is like this is color. after coloring and after tea dye And then they dry? Uh, yes, here is dry. Yes. But dry was very important. Yes. Because um, it needs to control the degree and to control the size chart. Yes. More than uh, 50 degree it will be shrink. Shrink. Yes. So you need to calculate. Yes, every time they need to control it. Yes. And they have a measurement in here and every three minutes, two minutes. They get one sample and they and control. check again and again and again. Yes. Uh, in the 20 minutes, 25 minutes in the machine, yes. they control it like uh, eight times, ten times. So every 25 Ev minutes. No, every two, three times a minute. They control every two, three minutes. Okay. When you finish saving, after saving, you can send for uh, for coloring, and you will be make a coloring in the production in the product in the ready product and it's going for washing and coloring together and also some different process like a laser or a stone washing or um, silicone washing it will become more uh, softer and more comfortable and it has uh, some different A lot of people in this job need to work in the one product to, to, to prefer it and uh, it's, it's very like it's a team job and we need to take care about team and also production and product. This is two things we need to care, take care about it and, and the, the place, the, the time and everything is important in this job and uh, the, most, the most important things in saving you need to be controlled the quality, you need to be controlled the measurement. Every time, every process, every small part of process, you need to be controlled, you need to be uh, controlled the measurement. It's, it's very important. With, uh, with, with this control, you can get a good quality and good product.